everybody. Welcome to Kids Play Chefs. I'm here with Marissa. Marissa, I'm going to ask you a question. This is corn, right? Mm -hmm. Do you like to eat your corn? What's your favorite way? I like to eat it um, just like that with butter. Like this? Oh, this isn't pop yet. Are you thinking of popcorn? No, not popcorn. Oh, oh, you're thinking of corn on the cob with butter? Yep. Oh, yes, that's one of my favorite ways. This is popcorn, too. I know your mom likes popcorn. Do you like popcorn, too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, if we put this in a bag, we could pop it. But today, we're going to eat corn in a really funny way. We're going to be making corn cakes. Corn is such an important thing, Marissa, and we're going to use something that you make when you take all the seeds off of corn and you take all the water out and you grind it up, it makes kind of a powder called cornmeal. And I see your bag of cornmeal is right there. Okay, let me ask you before we get started, have you had a pretty good day so far? Um, yes. And, and are your hands nice and clean? Mm -hmm. Okay, super. I'm glad you have your hair tied up too, that's great. All right, I have my griddle on. So can you point to where your griddle is? Okay, and does mommy have it turned on so it's getting hot? Super. Now, everyone who's watching this, Marissa and I are gonna cook. We're, you know, love, love to cook together. You do need a grown up for this recipe because it, we're gonna use a hot griddle. And we're gonna start, and Marissa pointed out to me last time that I had two bowls but I only use one, so I apologize for that. Today we're gonna to use both bowls. We're gonna start with the powder, cornmeal, and I'm gonna take one that's already open. So Marissa, you get your cornmeal ready. Marissa's eight years old and she's quite a chef. And we're gonna use a half a cup of cornmeal. So I'm gonna take out my half cup measure. Mine's red. And Marissa's got one. She's already gotten her cornmeal. I'm going to put it in this bigger bowl. So there's a half a cup of cornmeal going in. And I'm going to move my cornmeal back here behind me. I'm going to take, uh, I have sugar here. And I'm going to take out my teaspoon measurement. And I'm going to put in one teaspoon of sugar. Okay. And then I'm going to take another pinch of salt. Remember how we do that? We pour the salt in our hand, but not over our bowl. And we just take a pinch and we put it in with our dry ingredient. Okay, we have cornmeal and we have salt and sugar. And then today, what we make, Marissa, is going to have bubbles. We're going to cook with bubbles. And that's gonna come from baking powder. So could you hold up your baking powder so everyone can see it? And I'm gonna get my baking powder out. And you know, Marissa, cooking is just like science. So when you put these ingredients together, it's actually gonna create a chemical reaction. And bubbles are gonna come out of the recipe we're using. And that's gonna make our corn cakes nice and soft. So, and they get a little bit bigger because of those bubbles. So I'm gonna open up my baking powder and I'm gonna take out a teaspoon of baking powder. We have a teaspoon of salt, and now we're gonna have a teaspoon of baking powder. This'll, this recipe will make, oh, it'll make enough corn cakes for you and I to have a couple of corn cakes. If you were gonna make it for your whole family, you'd have to increase this recipe. So, the baking powder that we just used is called leavening. And leavening helps us cook with bubbles. It makes carbon dioxide bubbles go into the dough. It makes it soft and a little bit bigger. So we have everything dry in here we need. I'm double checking to see. And we, of course, are gonna add some corn. So I'm gonna take out my half cup measure. And I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in two fourths cups. 
and that's going to make a half cup. But if you have a half cup measure, you can use that too. So in my dry bowl, we have some corn, that's kind of wet, but we have dry flour, dry baking powder, which is our leavening today. Marissa, can you say leavening too? Leavening. 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 Good, thank you so much, leavening. And we're ready to add some wet ingredients. So I have an egg here. You have an egg. And I'm gonna take out my small bowl. I remembered this time, Marissa. I'm gonna take out my small bowl and leave my big dry ingredients bowl up there with the corn in it. So I'm gonna take my egg like I like to do. I'm not gonna squeeze it. I'm gonna hit it on the side till it has a hole. Stick my thumbs in that hole and turn it upside down so the hole goes down. And then let's go the egg has to part just like you just did. And now I wanna add some milk. And Marissa has regular milk. If you're making this at your home, you could use almond milk or oat milk or soy milk. I like to cook with buttermilk. Marissa likes to cook with her kind of milk. So now we're gonna add a fourth of a cup of milk to this egg. And put that in there. We have a mixing spoon, but for this, I'm going to use a fork. And I'm going to beat this up with a fork. And beat up the egg just means you, yeah, like that. And I like the way Marissa's holding the bowl and I'm holding the bowl so we don't spill it. So I'm double checking. We have one egg beaten with a fork. It's mixed with a fourth of a cup of fat, uh, milk. We have cornmeal and sugar and salt and baking powder. And we have some frozen corn that's been thawed out. Like. Now we're going to put the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. I'm making a little room here. My griddle is getting really hot, so I'm having to be very careful with it because I don't want to get burned. Now it's time to do two things. You have some butter there, right, Ruth? Remember how we said you could measure the butter on the side? We found out last time we cooked together that there's a whole measurement ruler on the side of the butter. We're gonna put about two tablespoons of butter on the hot griddle. And so that's about half of my pointer finger. And it's about two marks on this ruler. So you go ahead and cut out about two tablespoons of butter. You can carefully put it on your grill, or you could ask mommy to do it. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna spread it out all over my grill. And while it's melting, let's put our wet ingredients into our dry ingredients. Super. And I'm gonna mix it with my big mixing spoon. Corn cakes. People have been eating corn cakes for a long time. It's going to be fun to try some. I'm stirring up my batter. Now, if you want to use your big mixing spoon to put your batter on your griddle, you could. But I think I'm going to use uh, something called a ladle. Because if we get to read our story today, we're going to have there's a ladle in there. So a ladle looks like this. We sometimes use it to dip out soup. Today I'm gonna to use it to dip out my corn cake. You have one too, don't you? Okay, if your griddle is nice and hot, your butter's melted and it's bubbling a little bit. Is your griddle nice and hot, Marissa? Okie doke. So I'm gonna make my corn cakes kind of small. I'm gonna put them in the butter. Now what we're watching for is does the leavening work? If the baking powder does its work, we're gonna see some bubbles. So I'm gonna put a little corn cake there. And we're gonna see it get maybe a little taller. Put another little corn cake there in the melted butter. And turn my griddle up a little bit. I think I have enough to make about four little corn cakes. How about you, Maris? You have about four? 
If you make them small, they're easier to turn over. They almost look like pancakes, don't they? I guess that's why they call them corn cakes. Corn cakes. I'm getting all the batter out of the bottom of mine. I'm putting it on my very tiniest little corn cake. Now, I think this would be a good time to read a story about corn. So, Marissa, is your, are your corn cakes all on your griddle? Super. You can see mine are right here, too. And I'm noticing that there are bubbles in the middle of mine on the outside. Give me a thumbs up, Marissa. Do you see any bubbles? Oh, good. Thumbs up on that. Okay, so our, that means our leavening is working. All right. Let's have some fun. I'm going to see if I can hold this honey book. Remember, the ladle is in this story. It's in this story. I'm going to move some of my things. I want you to see this funny book. It's a big book, and it's called Cows Are in the Corn. It's got a lot of funny rhymes in it. So let's see if we can read it. And while we're doing this, Marissa, your corn cake should be cooking. And I'm seeing some bubbles. My griddle's nice and hot. Hope yours is too. Yep. The cows are in the corn. Uh-oh, it's a funny book. It's written by James Young, and it has a lot of rhymes in it. See if you like it. It's fun to read it. It's got cows, of course, because that's in the title. And it starts out like this. Brother woke up, and he began to shout. The cows are in the corn, and they won't come out. <laughs> That's where they got the title. Brother told sister, and she began to shout. Now the rhyme changes a little bit. The pigs are in the figs, and they won't come out. Pigs, figs, corn. Okay. Sister told uncle, and he began to shout. Now the rhyme's going to change again. Uh-oh. The goats are in the oats, and they won't come out. Now remember, there's a ladle somewhere in this book. I haven't seen a ladle yet. I'm looking at my corn cakes, though, and I'm just about ready to flip them. I think I'm going to read another page. Uncle told Auntie, and she began to shout. The rams are in the yams, and they won't come out. Uh-oh. I'm going to lay this book down, but I'm going to pick up my... Flipper. I'm going to turn one of my pancakes over and see if I can do that real gently. Now, mine are not ready to turn over, but if yours are, Marissa, you go ahead and turn them over. Okay. I need to cook a little bit more. Do you have any that you can flip? I'm going to cook a little bit more. Now I'm going to finish up the story, and then maybe I can do. Well, the last thing I read had rams and yams, you know, sweet potatoes, and they said, the rams are in the yams, and they won't come out. Well, Auntie told Father, and he began to shout. Uh-oh. The rhyme changes. The bees are in the peas, and they won't come out. Well, father told mother, and she didn't shout, she didn't shudder, and she didn't pout. Uh-oh, what's she going to do? I bet it has something to do with her ladle. Let's see. She grabbed her big ladle, yep, and she waved it all about. I can't wave mine because it's got batter on it. And she waved her big, grabbed her big ladle, and she waved it all about. Then she banged and she clanged and she rousted them out. And there are the pigs and the cows and the rams and the goats. And that is the end. First of all, did you think that was a silly story? Me too. I kind of like it. Okay, now I'm going to see if I can. Did you flip some of yours, Marissa? Okay. Did, are, did you flip yours over? Okie doke. Now I'm going to take my... Flipper. I'm going to see if I can turn them now. 
You had better luck with yours than mine. I don't think my griddle was hot enough. There it is. I flipped that one a little bit. And I'm going to wet and let these cook a little bit. When they're all done, like pancakes, it's so much fun. You put them on a pretty plate like this. And you can eat them with a little bit of maple syrup. You can eat them with a little drizzle of honey. Or you can just eat them plain. You can have them for breakfast. You can have them for brunch. Or you can even have corn cakes for dinner. They're really, really yummy. So when yours are nice and are they soft enough to eat, are they getting a little bit bigger, a little higher, Marissa? Mine are. And that, again, is from the leaven leavening. It's because we put bubbles into it to cook. So Marissa, can you take one of yours off and show us what it looks like? Is it done enough to put it on a plate? Mine's sizzling now. It's all oh, this beautiful. Okay, if you want to put it on your, if you think it's done enough, you can put it on your plate. I'm going to let mine brown a little more, everybody. But I want to thank you for coming to Kids Play Chef. I want to thank you for learning another way to eat corn, corn cakes, and for using leavening and cooking with bubbles and sharing a silly book. So Marissa, when do you think you're going to taste these corn cakes? Um... I'm gonna probably taste one um, right after I get them off the grill. Right after you get them? Are you gonna put, are you gonna eat them with maple syrup or honey or, or are you gonna eat them plain? I'm gonna eat some with maple syrup and some with uh, honey. Okay, I wanna compliment you, Marissa, because you had your griddle nice and hot and everything turned out. My corn cakes are just now getting toasty brown. Let me show you. Because I my griddle didn't get hot enough. There's the first corn cake I have. I'm gonna eat mine with maple syrup. I'm gonna share them with uh, Mr. Casella too. Okay, Marissa, I'm gonna say bye and thank you for being a kids play chef. Okie doke. You used the griddle real safely. Bye bye. Bye. Boy, this is the best part of making corn cakes. See my golden plate? I'm gonna taste one. I've got my fork ready. I'm gonna drizzle a little tiny bit of maple syrup over it. And today at Kids Play Chefs, we cooked with bubbles, we used leavening, and we made corn cakes. Mmm. A whole new way to enjoy corn. Have fun cooking corn cakes, boys and girls.